Hello guys, it is Speed Spawner here, and I'm going to be making a customized Lego cannon that I had made earlier today. This is what it looks like. So, why not jump into the video and get and show you guys how to make this. So first of all, we are going to make the part that actually holds the missiles and shoots them. So what you're going to need is you're going to need these two kind of pieces. Two of them. Times two, however you would like to say that. You're going to need two of any color cylinders of your choice, or kind of cones of your choice. I'm using a green and red. And then you're going to put those on the end of the kind of missile things. And I'll place them back down here. So then you're going to need a two hold block with two pegs on top. It's white. And you are going to need a white two by four or two by two. But since I do not have one, I am just using a two by one or one by three so one two three or one by three L and a one by one because this makes a white two by two oops and then you're going to take a one by two And then you're also going to need a 2x2 two two gray base. And you're also going to need a winged 2x2 two two white. And so you're going to take this part and put your, put this white one, the white 1x2, one right on the front. Next, you're going to take your gray one, or you could use your white one, and put it right there. And next, you're going to take either your gray one or white one, depending on how you use it, and put it right on top. So eventually, it'll look like this. So then you're going to take your hold piece and put it smack dab on the very front of the thing. Then you guys probably know how to do this. It's obvious how you place missiles into the hole. Just go like that. Okay, so now we are going to make the wheel part that actually moves the cannon. So what you're going to need is two wheels with the actual rubber part on, two splits, tan, not blue, because blue don't spin, two, two uh, bell loop, two by fours, gray, or blue, it doesn't really matter, and you're going to need one of these, gray or black, it do or blue, it doesn't really matter, you don't need one, but I'm going to use one for support. So next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your peg and place it in the first bell loop on any of your 2x4 bell loops. And then with the second one, you're going to take this hole and place it right there. And the next, you're going to take this split and put one on each end. And then next, you're going to take your wheel and put it not all the way on, but almost all the way. Because all the way on will rub against a vehicle and stop it from moving. So there is your wheel part. Next, we are going to make the body. So what you're going to need is two 1x8s, a 1x4, 1x2 gray, one by two, or two by 
six, two by four, and two four slot gray flats. And then so what you're going to do is you're going to take your four piece and put it on the eight like this. And then next you're going to take your gray ones and place them on the back, the opposite of where you have this part. And you're going to place both of them in the very back. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take your red piece and make sure that it has two pegs towards the back like this and then you're going to take your blue and place it down right there so that there's only one piece or two four slots of red showing on each side and then next what you're going to do is you're going to take your wheel and place it one peg away from the start. So let's show you. One, two. And that is where your wheels will go. So then you're going to take your gray piece and put it right there on the wheels. And then you put, and this is how you put your cannon part on. What you're going to do is you have this gray piece and you have a little slot right here for the blue. You're going to slide this on kind of like a puzzle piece and then connect them together so that the gray piece is in that hole filling in for it. And that these white wings are touching this part. And there you've got your basic cannon. But now I have decorations to add on. You guys could add decorations as want. Well if you want as well but I'm going to use some studs a red translucent and a yellow translucent place those right there a two red gateways and place those right there two slanted vents or grates That is put on the wrong way. And then to finish it off, I'm going to have a gold piece. And I'm going to place it right in the front. So this is your little medieval cannon. It, if you flick these, it shoots it. And this does shoot very far. I accidentally shot this up. And from this table, it went all the way up there. That's a pretty far distance, as you can see. But please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you later, spawners.